Hello guys, today we learn how to do client side validation in SV.NET MVC5. We need Visual Studio 2015 MVC5 version and SQL Server 2012 or any other version. Our output look like this. Add a student name. Whenever we click on submit button, we get a message if we didn't field any value name is required and address is required how to achieve client side validation let us see create a new project with mpt and selection of mbc and web api create a model student model and write their properties whichever whichever is required like name and address create a controller home controllers and Add a view against the home controller and write code in index method and index with post method. Create a bundle class file to add JS library into it and name a single name jQuery file to add into layout page. Our JS will be jQuery 1.10.2, jQuery.validate, and jQuery.validate.unobtrusive.js and write a CSS for error in web config file enable client validation enable and an obtrusive Java script enable equal to two in web config file and then the project we get the this one. Now let us see this steps in Visual Studio Studio and project name is MC sample three. We can also create like this new projects click sv.net mbc and this one click ok and take empty empty and they check check mbc and web api when we click we get the new project with empty folder now see here how can we achieve client side validations using visual studio let us see i have already created mbc sample 3 and there is already folders now first we need to create a student models i have already created see here student model class and we have get set property like name and address and here i have put required error message equal to name is required and required error message address is required for required we have added name space components model dot data annotation you can add by simply click here click on this balloon and click on data annotation after that we have create one controller home controllers here you can see home controllers index method that is get and index method which HTTP post Whichever I've created a class student model, I I have made I have made a student model object. I have called this object and make object of this student models. And I have write here code. If model state is, is valid, then view back message. This will show thank you for adding new student and object dot name student name. And after that, we clear the text box and return the view. Now we go to the view. So see here, go. I've already add the added the view. So we have to adding by this way and click to. You have. I have already created the view. So only need to go. Go to view. See here that is name is SI have huge model model dot student models and here i have put html text bar m equal m equal greater than m dot name lambda expression and put here a validation message for for m dot m name and i have added new class class file class class equal to error and also for i have write Retain here HTML dot text box for m dot address and for validation message showing m equal to greater m dot address 
link it and I have put here class equal to error and one I have put it here input type equal to submit and value equal to submit and I have put here at the date using HTML begin form that is method name and home is the controller and I have written here form method dot post post method whenever you click a submit button this will call the this index action method by the HTTP post next step is to create the bundle class file I have added here like this way I add class name and put here I have already put bundle class which has been created here bundle config file now I have added public static wire register bundles bundle collection bundles by this way we can add all the js and css files here we can add it this way bundles dot add new script bundles bundles jquery well put here the name of and this name will can be used in layout page and i have added js jquery 1.10.2 and other welded dot js and welded on of source js all the js will included in the escape folders now this bundle dot config need to register in the global x file i have already this register global bundle config dot register bundle bundle table dot bundles and for this we have added system dot web dot optimizations and also we have include this for this one mbc sample 3 dot app star we can see here in layout pages i have added bundles jquery well which is included here bundle jquery well this is name and this will add it in the page now one now once you have done this all the things we need go to web config file and see here we have to add a client validation enable value equal to true and an after javascript enable value equal to true and if this is not added then you can need to add in the web config file also there is one config file in the here click on this and one need to add add name space system dot web dot optimization when never you get the error on the script dot renders now i have need to add 3js 3js jquery 1.10.2 js how can we add let us see go to tools click on manager and manage net get package for solutions this one will get and i need to version only 1.10.2 you can see and check this one and we can install it click on ok button now need to add second js jquery dot welded js go to netkit solutions paste this welded js see here my welded js jquery welded js jquery dot validation click on this and install mbc sample 3 and check done ok button this will be done finished and last one is jquery well date and after ship js go to net you net get solutions 
and paste search we get microsoft jquery unobtrusive validation click on this and install this okay accept now you can see here go to scripts and you see here jquery 1.10 jquery that will date which are needed and jquery that will date and obtrusive js now run the application we get the result at strength name and address when you click on submit button we get name is required and address is required when you click on fill the value raj and put here mumbai and click on submit buttons see here we get the http post and debug point this method and click f10 way this way we'll get the value which already which have filled on two text boxes by raj using the models and click f5 and run the application now you see thank you for adding new student raj thus we can see here how we added client side validation in mbc5 thank you guys have a nice day if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel